Welcome to our short video explaining how to deal with this lovely white border on your computer that uh, you probably think is related to a driver or something. See this white border that goes around the outside? Yeah, see that's not that's not part of that image. And uh, in fact, uh, I'll prove that it's in fact not even part of the operating system because I will shut this down, power it up, and you'll see as soon as that screen turns on, so does the white border. That means that's loading before the operating system and that means it is not an operating system problem. Now curiously in my case, this came up uh, with a Windows 11 automatic update. This proves that it is not an operating system problem. So there are several things you can do with this. Uh, I've looked and found uh, many other people with this problem uh, with Dells and HPs and other machines. So it's not, it's not specific to the OEM. What it appears to be related to is the Intel HD 630 uh, graphics card, the uh, chip. That chip is integrated into the CPU of all of these chips that you can see here. And this basically ranges everything from i3s and i5s 7th and 8th generation all the way up to 10th generation core products along with some low-end Intel Pentium chips and some Xeon server processors. There's a couple of things you can do to improve it and hopefully eventually it will just go away but because there is no straight fix for it. The first thing to do is power it down which is in my case right there and this is a Dell, what, 5477 all in one is what this one is, but I've got lots of other, if you Google it, you'll see lots of other people with similar problems. So it's not this device. Power it down and unplug it. That's the key. Let it sit unplugged. That's one thing to do. Uh, didn't resolve it in my case, but uh, certainly has helped others. Another thing to do is to install a BIOS update. Now in my case, I have one pending. I'm just going to sign in and yeah, as you can see here, this is a, uh, that's a Microsoft Surface Book, right? That's uh, that's experiencing the problem. Yeah, so this is not specific to my piece of hardware or Dell or HP or Microsoft, which means it's almost certainly an Intel GPU problem, graphics processor. Let's just take a look at which one I've got. So my display driver or display is the Intel 630. Yeah, that's not good. And that graphics card is built right into the chip. And because this is an all-in-one, I can't replace the video card or, or augment it with a different one. Okay, so that's that. Now let's go, let's leave this and go to my Dell update. There it is. And of course, I will install. This is a hardware problem. So uh, making a firmware change uh, will have some impact or may have some impact. So I'm going to restart. Uh, something else you can do is to uh, reset your BIOS back to factory. Wow, that's one ugly BIOS. Old school. It's really quite a surprise that they're not using the more, the pretty UEFI. Okay, I don't expect this will work, but I'm hopeful. Let's see what happens when it powers up. Now we'll get to the real fix. It seems to work for most people. Yeah, that didn't fix it. That's disappointing as hell. And you can see up here, it's a little darker on the outside so it's actually an it's like an intentional border so the real fix seems to be to tolerate this which is obnoxious when I say tolerate I mean it will go away over time and uh, sometimes that time is days sometimes it's hours sometimes it's weeks that from reading other blogs yeah it's a hardware problem for sure this is gonna be hard to see on the video because these cameras are so good they take care of some of these things and try to hide them. But uh, that's the, the screen is rock solid, but the edge, that border is flickering up a storm. And something to note is that 
Lots of people have sent their machine back for repairs. The repair depots have changed the screens, uh, the LCD screens, and then shipped them back. And the problem returns a few weeks later. Uh, and that's a very good indication that, yeah, it's not your monitor. And we know it's not the operating system, which means it's the chip. It's the, in this case, my Intel i7 chip. Well, let's just show you what the video card is. It's the integrated Intel UHD 630 chip. Now, in particular, that chip built right into the CPU, and so there's no way to change it out. That's practical. And uh, because this is an all-in-one, that chip is soldered on my board, I can't change the chip even. And because it's an all-in-one, I can't add a second video card that will augment this one. It's just not possible. So this is an hour later, and you can see how much better it is. Pretty substantial. Well, much to my surprise, it's only, geez, what, maybe three hours later, and the white border is gone completely. I have changed nothing. Uh, well, I did update the firmware, but that just proved that the firmware wasn't the problem. And yeah, so if you see that white border, you probably have the Intel UHD 630 chip for video. And yeah, there's a, an intermittent problem with it, which is especially prominent on laptops and all-in-ones. And in case you're not thinking this through, uh, lap, uh, all in ones really are just laptops with a big screen so <laughs> and a separate keyboard. And hey, if this uh, helped you and made you feel a little better, even though you can't do very much, please click like. It's very much appreciated. Uh, subscribe's also good. Also, leave a comment below. Tell us what product you've got, what version you've got. And uh, if we don't get back to you, somebody else will. And you can always get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. That's www.urtech.ca. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.